Hi guys, our topic today is GSM. So, what is GSM? GSM stands for Global System for Mobile Communications. It is one of the key technologies used for the second generation of mobile networks that started the digital era in the early 1990s. Other technologies that enabled 2G were DMs, Digital Advanced Mobile Phone System, and IS-95, Interim Standard 1995, which is also commercially known as CDMA1. GSM offered enhanced security as compared to its predecessors and also allowed customers to be able to make and receive phone calls, voice calls, and send and receive text messages, also known as SMS or short message service. GSM also offered very basic mobile internet or mobile data services, but they were not efficient enough. They were based on circuit switched. Let's now have a quick look at how GSM works. GSM networks used a combination of two radio access techniques, FDMA, Frequency Division Multiple Access, and TDMA, Time Division Multiple Access. Radio access is that part of the network which propagates all those signals that connect you and me to the mobile network. The bandwidth of each channel was 200 kHz, which means that GSM had more capacity than the earlier 1G networks. GSM used digital encryption, which is why it was more secure. And in the extended frequency band, GSM used 880 to 915 MHz for the uplink and 925 to 960 MHz for the downlink. Mobile data or internet capability existed in the original GSM networks, but it wasn't efficient enough, which is why GPRS, General Packet Radio Service, and EDGE, Enhanced Data for Global Evolution, were introduced. Both GPRS and EDGE were packet-based or packet-switched. GPRS could offer peak downlink speeds of up to 171.2 kilobits per second, and EDGE could offer 384 kilobits per second. Now let's have a very quick look at a high-level network diagram to visualize things. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Also, click the notification bell and drop a like on this video. For more information, click the link in the description below.